What up, Fike family? Um, I appreciate you guys sending this in. Um, and uh, we're going to start with our lower half. So right now, uh, that squat into that back leg. We're about, let's see here. About 110, somewhere in there, um, which is which is right where we need to be. Uh, I want it to be below 110. The more you can get into that, the better. Um, what we what we talk about out of that back leg is is a, is a, a stack, and this is that where that stacking comes in. That upper body's got to come back over that over that lower body. The lower body is pretty good as far as squatting goes, but your ball comes out of the glove. I think way too early, um, and, and, it, and it doesn't put you on time. Um, when you plant your front leg, your arm isn't even up. It should be, it should be up there when you plant. So it's it's a little bit late. And I think a lot of that has to do with your stacking and staying back. So that that's a big issue of yours. Um, so on our website, if you look up stacking, there's drills to fix them, um, and just go through those. That's going to be huge for you. Um, let's look at that front front knee. Um, this is what we call an internally rotated front knee. We'll see if you have it. I don't think you do. Just based off of what I'm looking at, I don't think you do. We're good to go there. Um, angle of your front knee as you throw the ball. Hundred and twenty nine degrees. Not bad. Um I'd like to see it a little bit more than that. Hundred and thirty five. So that front knee's really gotta lock up a little bit. Um that's definitely an issue of yours. At plant leg, um you see this angle of your of your leg. It's about eighty three degrees. And I'd like to see it at hundred and ten or more. What that means is you're you're just not stepping long enough. I think you could step a lot further um, and drive longer off that back leg because right now you're driving front leg plants you could be driving longer but you still have a ton to be able to rotate your hip through um, but that back leg's coming kind of off the ground and and we want to stay on the ground for as long as we can so that's something I really want you to work on. Um, power to the back leg is going to be a, a huge crucial uh, point. Although I, th I think you squat very well into that back leg, um, the transfer of that back foot isn't as good as it should be. Um, 83 degrees should be about 110. So um, just make sure that uh, you know you're working on that i think that'll i think that'll that'll play out pretty well stacking needs to improve um that's definitely an issue of yours um just staying back putting that head um over that back foot as long as you can not separating your hands as 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 early cuz that's that's leaving you out to dry to throw with only arm um let's look at your posture at ball release posture at ball release you're Almost, so you we'll just measure like this. You have a big, I'd like you to keep your back straight right now. You can see kind of you're hunched over. I like to have that, that, that straight back because that straight back is what's really going to make you rotate. Um, so I want, I want better posture. I think the bands are going to help you with that a ton. Um, and I think that's going to help uh, a lot. All right, so let's look at release point. You're releasing, um, you know, right there, the video kind of cuts off a little bit, but you're releasing the video right over that front, or that, that not the ball, releasing the ball right over that front foot. It's really, it's really early, um, and I want it to be late, late, late. Part of the reason why you're not, you know, you're not releasing it late is because that back leg comes up and there's no support on that back leg. When the back leg's supported, then, then your chest has a better likelihood of being able to drive through later release point. You know, less stress on the elbow and shoulder. All these great things happen when you do that. So let's get into um, front glove. Front glove actually rotates pretty well. I think you do a good job of that front glove rotating. I think you're having to really overcome that big bend in that back 
I, I think if your back's straighter, I think you rotate a little bit better. Um, bands are going to help with that. So front glove looks pretty good. Um, we're going to look at your elbow right here. I think you do have a high elbow, um, which is something that you, your arm your arm is not rotating as fast as it should. And so what does it do? It goes from low to high because it's trying to get it out. The faster way to do it is to keep your back lay or, or your back arm and keep it and drive it forward. Unfortunately, your elbow just has to rise um, because we're not really using our body as much. Part of the reason is your back leg's not on the ground, so you have really no structure to be able to drive your chest through. So, so that's why you have a high elbow. Um, so high elbow is an issue. Um, that's something I definitely want you to work on. Um, you know, when you're working on your upper body. All right. So high elbow. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at chest extension here. Chest extension is going to be. I gotta re redo this. Try to get it correct. All right. So I'm gonna take a measurement off your back hip up to your chest about 33 degrees what that means is we, we need to get beyond about 48 degrees what that means is when you are throwing your front knee isn't coming back and you're really not getting over well, i've already kind of explained this but you can kind of tell why your why your chest does what it does because if it's here and your leg is there there's your body's not going to want to go forward the only way your chest needs wants to go forward is if your back leg supported on the ground, straight leg, then I have the ability to go out, um, which right now you don't. Uh, we need to we need to work on the front knee, uh, establish that back leg a little bit more of that drive, and then that chest extension is gonna gonna feel a lot more more confident, and you'll get out further, better release point. All these great things happen. So that's definitely something I, uh, you know, chest extension is a weakness of yours. Um, we're going to look at hand fly out. I think you do a good job of coming through. High elbow, your wrist has to be quick. I don't think it's too big of an issue. Might be something that you could work on though. Maybe, maybe split it a little bit, you know, cut it back a little bit this way towards that, towards that first line. Um, trying to shove that through that that wrist through a little bit faster, um, you know. But focus on the elbow first, um, and then everything else will come come through it. So um, I appreciate you uh, sending this video in. Take what we talked about, the weaknesses, um, and, and really go go through uh, one by one. Let's start with the lower half, power of the back leg, internally rotated front knee, the angle of the front leg. Um, and work from lower body and then, and then, you know, one day and then the next day you can do upper body. But I really, really have, have faith in, in what we put together. It, it just, it works. Um, it's, it's been, it's been amazing. It's nothing fancy at all, but I will tell you, you know, we, we've been able to increase velocity on a lot of kids and it really is due to, um, you know, the mechanical work. Now that we know what's what what's a problem, then we can go out and get it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you soon.